हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल आईटी डिपार्टमेंट बाय सोनू सा मल्टीपल पीपल वाचिंग माय वीडियोस बट नॉट सब्सक्राइबिंग सो जस्ट वी विल डू सा लाइक सब्सक्राइब देन वी विल मूव अहेड विद डीबीएसए सब्जेक्ट लैग ओके यू हैव टू सब्सक्राइब देयर एंड क्लिक ऑन सो वी हैव टू स्टार्ट विद आवर स्टूडेंट नेम स्टूडेंट आईडी कोर्स असाइनमेंट टाइटल समीशन दैट यू हैव टू ऐड इट गाइस व्हाट एवर इज इन दैट गाइस यू हैव टू ऐड इट ओके देन योर बिट्स आई डी चेंज योर नेम चेंज योर समीशन दैट देन वी कैन ऐड द सेम ऑब्जेक्ट टू एंड यू कैन ऐड द सेम पेज प्लस दिस साइड यू हैव टू गिव दिस सेम ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ओके या देन वी हैव जस्ट द बेस्ट स्टेप सॉल्यूशन यू कैन ऐड दिस and then you have to paste some screenshot which is of is doing reverse engineering one uh, mysql bench and then we can get this screenshot so the image was big so i created another screenshot and we have to change the name first guys we, i have my name here okay you have to change your lab user name and then we will proceed this is my uh, er diagram and then we have to give this relational schema you have to give this code You will get this code in my YouTube description box, and then we will create this with normalization, and we will write justification. That's it, guys. And then we will have execute all the queries, which uh, which is this above code. We will execute all this above code, and we will execute here, and we will paste the screenshot here. So multiple screenshot will be there, and then write the conclusion. Same conclusion can be written, or we write it using chat GPT. Give the same reference, and then you have to paste your appendix here. It means a screenshot of lab users. Okay, so we have opened our labs, guys. Let's start our labs with our desktop. Uh, this is Linux-based system, guys. So we have to just change our lab user name. Then we will click here. Which user it doesn't work, so we have to click there. Go to systems, go to user and groups, and then click there. You lab user, and then we have to change our name, and we will put our name. Name means say your bit ID, okay? Two zero two three W D one two three four five. I am using this lab. I mean user ID. You have to give your bit ID here. Press OK. Then close. It doesn't update there, guys. You have to click there and log out, and then press log out button. Then you have to reconnect. Okay. Yeah, it will reload and it will give updated. See, it is updated here. Two zero two three W D one two three four five. Now we can do our screenshot and all. It's showing this ID. Okay. Always take full screenshot so that this is visible. So let's start our MySQL workbench. Before that, I will tell you what is the password. So the password is given here as root one two three and dollar sign, and username is root. Close the readme file. Let's open MySQL workbench. Uh, open this, and we will give our password. I already told you. Press OK. What is this? Oh, it works, guys. Let's see. So where I will get the code? I have already given you in the document. I will now put this in my YouTube description box. Okay? Yeah. You have to paste this without any more thinking. Yeah. Copy and we will simply paste. Control or uh, Control A, it selected all, and then we will put this button. Click here. Execute the selected portion of the script or everything. If there is no selection, okay, we will click there. Don't click there, okay. This says that execute the statement under the keyboard cursor. So don't click there. We have to click this. We will execute everything. Before executing everything, guys, let me open the output here by clicking and. Making it wider, yeah. Here we will get action output. So again, Control A, select all. 
network connection itu ya itu dua itu Uh, yeah, it's working now. Then I selected all using my keyboard control A button and then we will press this execute all button. So yes, my file is started running and everything will be done. You have to take the screenshot and paste. Okay. And I will explain the first line that uh, you have to. I always drop this employee management table because then we will create it again every time and then we can use the employee. Management database. You have to take a screenshot, guys. Take the screenshot. I took five, five screenshot. Five times okay. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's take screenshot, and you can paste it there. Screenshot is taken. We will just paste here. Yeah, ER diagram we will can get it later. So this is the code normalization, and then you have to give it in the execution output and result section. Paste your screenshot there, okay? Like this, we will paste for all. I done for five, and then go to below. Is the until client table. See, this is client table. So for six one, we can give the screenshot composition, and then we can scroll it from here and go for six two ten. Okay, six two ten. Give screenshot again. Paste it on the document, guys. And then it is then this table attendance. So find the table attendance and then give the screenshot again. This is table attendance. Take the screenshot, paste it in your document, and then we will go for ten to fifteen. It is still fourteen, so we'll oh, okay. Wait, let's adjust this also. Go to last, and then do it. Take the screenshot and paste it in your document. I am not doing it because mm -hmm. it already exists there. So to get the ER diagram, guys, click the database, click reverse engineer, and then you have to select this root here as a stored connection, and then we will click next, and it will ask for password. We already know password. Capital R O O T one two three, and then dollar sign, and then we will click OK. It is done. Then we click next. Select this employee management database, and then it is there. Click next. So 11 total objectives and 11 are selected. We will press on execute button. Operation completed successfully. Click on next. Click on close. So we got our ER diagram. So we don't have to do much. We have to just adjust it so that everything is visible clearly, so that we can paste into our document. So we we'll keep employee there in little bit mid, and then we can adjust everything. Partner, we have to do this. Adjust it somehow so that everything is clearly visible. Lines will follow. You have to just give it. I just have to think guys so that everything is visible clearly. I guess everything is visible. Let's see. Five, six, one, five. You can refer my my uh, ER diagram. Let's see.
perfect. Let's see everything is visible clearly, clearly, clearly. Yes, yes. Yeah, I guess it's done. So simply we have to click here on file, then click on export and export as PNG, and we will save in somewhere. But go to other location, check where we can get persistent folder. Click on persistent folder in the desktop. So create a folder here. Click on this folder button. Add the name as lab four dvsa, and then write the name here as whatever you want. Er diagram, and then click on save. So let me show you where is the file. Click on persistent folder. And like for DBSS, and then we have exported our PNG file of ER diagram. You can mail it to yourself to paste into your uh, answer sheet, guys. This PNG file is opening in Chrome, I know. Let's check this file, and then you can just simply we have done our lab guide. We have to paste it there. Take multiple screenshot. I took half of screenshot, so that's clearly visible. You can also take the screenshot. I took this half screenshot here, and then again half I took for below part. Okay, and then when I pasted this complete full diagram, see everything is visible. You can make it shorter if you want. You can edit it, uh, keep it wherever you want to make it short, and it will take some less space. I can wait. Now you can lower this everything to make it short in height. See. Now it is more perfect to take a screenshot. So you know everything how to do it. You can do it. For your own file. That's it for now, guys. Let's see, we have done everything or not. Name done objective. Problem set, and you can test it. Here, diagram will be tested. I've shown you just now, and then this is the you will get in description box. Normalization you can write same execution. You know how to do. Write the same conclusion, no issues, or rewrite it using ChatGPT. Appendix, guys. Don't forget appendix. To paste the appendix, go to the here and click on the load. You will get this latest consumed and remaining time. So we got this consumed and then take the screenshot and you can paste it there. Check its DPS subject mm -hmm. only. Don't test for operating system. Okay. Yeah. Done. Save it and then. Don't forget you have to stop this button and always take all the screenshots required before clicking there. That's it for now, guys. Bye.